We're very pleased to have Nadia Calvino once again with us, the Spanish Deputy Prime Minister and Minister for the Economy. Nadia, lovely to see you. Thanks so much yeah, for coming back. I should say again. Minister, shouldn't I, just to keep yeah. it formal. Um, can I, can I start, instead of picking up on the ACB lead that the team has given us, can I just ask you about China? Because um, here we have um, the German Chancellor in Beijing, first significant delegation from a G7 country to go to China. I think that demonstrates how important this relationship is for both parties. Um, China also has significant investments in Spain. And yet the relationship, I think, between the EU and China is becoming a little more tetchy mm -hmm. over shared concerns around the treatment of Baltic countries and um, the wolf warrior diplomacy we see at the moment. What, what is the right approach to China at this stage, would you say? Well, we're in the midst of a, of a very significant shift in the tectonic plates on which uh, the international order has been run since the end of World War II. And this involves Russia. It certainly involves China. I think that it is a, a very large economy. It is, it is a, an emerging also geopolitical uh, power. And therefore, we have to be very careful, I think, when dealing with China. And so uh, striking the right balance is, uh, is certainly one of the things that we will be striving to do in, in the coming weeks and months. Is there a risk? I mean, southern European countries were furious at Germany over this enormous energy subsidy that it rolled out because it has the fiscal headroom. Is there a risk here that Germany again upsets other EU members by a self-interested, go-it-alone relationship with China? Well, I very much doubt that this move uh, has not been uh, talked about, coordinated uh, beforehand. No, I, I think, I mean, I know Chancellor Schultz quite well. I know he's a very prudent man, so I'm quite quite sure that he has uh, thought it over and, and discussed it over before, before going there. In the same way that Germany thought over their dependence on Russian energy? Well, or are they going to fall I, into the same trap when it uh, comes to China? Well, I, I don't think that the situation is, is exactly the same. I very much agree with you that we have to be mindful that, uh, that we do not uh, make the same mistakes again. But it is also true that China is, is a, a very large economy. It's a, it's a superpower, and we have to be very careful also when dealing with them. I think that that's, that's something that's very relevant. Now, you were mentioning the subsidies before, and I think that that's an issue where... The, uh, obviously, the war in Ukraine is not affecting all countries in the same manner. So we see Germany is at the forefront. And for instance, in the case of Spain, we're still having quite strong growth, job creation. We are, do not have any dependency vis-a-vis -vis the uh, fuels and, and gas coming from, from Russia. And so we also have to be um, understanding in the sense that different countries need different responses. But overall, we need a European response. This, you will not be surprised to hear me say this, Jeff, because you have heard me saying this uh, so many times. But we saw during the pandemic it was good we had a European response. I think now also we need to be coordinated as Europeans. Hi, I'm Joanna Bersecci, and thank you for watching. You can check out more of our videos by clicking on the boxes on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more from CNBC International. Thank you for watching.